Hi guys, welcome to Ratchet and Sly. I'm Ratchet, this is Sly. Today we're going to let's play Desperados. It's a game on Steam, it's 4.49 I think. And basically you are you are John Cooper and his band of mercenaries. You start off um, on a thing, we're going to show you the video now. But basically that's who you are. It's a top down strategy, it's like Commandos, Robin Hood, Legend of Sherwood those sort of games <clears throat> most of the game you, you can play it play it two ways sort of like you can um, either be sneaky and try and get around the enemies you uh, face or you can go straight in head on and just go kill them <laughs> yeah you can go in guns blazing uh, you know sh shoot first ask questions later or you can try like I, the way I like to which is sneak and peek <clears throat> Here's some nameless dudes are on a train. I, it doesn't tell you the names, so. But I'm assuming one of them is John Cooper. Though I could be wrong. Well, Flyman's dead. Hmm. That's right, yeah, and then he lets the fly go. Let's put it this way, if one of these isn't John Cooper, then why, I don't know why we're seeing this. Because hmm. I can guarantee one of those banditos won't be John Cooper, not with hats like that. I think these are you going to be facing, so... I'm guessing this is the enemy we're going after eventually in the game. Who knows, all I know is... You start off as John Cooper, <clears throat> who you're meeting definitely for the first time here. What do you want to be? I want to solve your problem. Oh yeah? You and whose army? Who? There's your hero. Yeah, it's John Cooper. Well, I'll tell you, he owns the Hacienda just north of El Paso. But I wouldn't recommend you visit him. He's a mean one, that's for sure. Well, in the first place, he ain't even here. Do you get the feeling this guy is hiding something? <laughs> yes. Wish you could do that. Uh, we try doing that. <laughs> it takes a lot of control. <laughs> well, did you get all that? I'm guessing that's Mr. Evil. <laughs> Sounds like it, doesn't it? There's a second version of this which I haven't played yet called. Yeah, there is Desperados 2, yeah. Uh, called John Cooper's Revenge, Desperados 2, but that's I have also played, on Steam. Uh, it's also on Steam, and I haven't played it yet. Welcome um, to the game. But this is Welcome to the Game. This is the game proper. Now this is just a basic training level, so we'll show you this one. 
Um, and I don't know if we'll be doing the second one because our software only does like 10 minutes. <coughs> so, uh, I mean, we could start again, you know, pause and start again, but basically it's a bit annoying. Our software does only 10 minutes. Fur Trapper, hmm. I think that's what he's supposed to be. <laughs> that hat looks more like a David Crockett hat. <clears throat> yeah, now I'll just show you the basics of the game, so how to do each bit and that. <clears throat> yeah, if you notice the gap there, it's just to make sure that the little video is running okay. Like it. I think you hit the forward button, I'm not sure. Did you hit F3 or F2? Yeah, hey guys, if you notice the gap there at all, like I said before, it's just because we need to re reset the video thing just to make sure we don't lose anything. So we can show you the whole whole of this mission. There's a bit in this that you'll see in a minute where they quote Mae West, and I can't believe they actually went there. <laughs> I think it was Mae West. If I'm wrong, you can feel free to correct correct me. You'll know which bit I'm talking about. And now I'll show you how to use your gun. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That last line there was the Mae West one, in case you didn't know, but uh, like I said, I don't believe they actually went there. And uh, secondly, ooh. <coughs> yeah, I was just showing you how to use your gun and reload it in that. Lola, is that her name? Uh, this bit now. This will show you how to use the knockout uh, thing, which is what you want to use if you're sneaking. Get behind them and knock them out. <laughs> this is for the sneak and peek portion. The last one was for those of you, you want to who uh, like who, who prefer the Clint Eastwood method. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have four, four, four coffins ready. My mistake. Five. I think it was from the film, I can't remember. <laughs> or did he say three and then my mistake four, I can't remember, but in one of his films. <laughs> so if you're, that's your method, have a take them down, all down, then go ahead. The guns blazing method is yours. And I should have to use a knockout feature when I get to the ring. But if you uh, prefer, and I, person, I personally I do, I prefer to try and sneak and peek. Makes the game more, game more um, because it's supposed to be a strategy game, and if you go in all guns blazing, it's not, you're not really using strategy, are you? <laughs> I know it's a cowboy film, and so people think cowboy games, so people think, oh well, cowboys, bang, bang, bang. But um, to be honest with you, I like to think of it sneak and peek because they are mercenaries, so and probably the corrupt sheriffs um, are going to have them outlawed. So you're probably going to end up, you know, trying to be quiet about it. Right this way, gentlemen. Right this way. <clears throat> I 
And now is the knife throwing part. To be honest with you, I haven't completed this game yet. I only got to the fourth mission, but that's because the game really is that difficult. Yeah, it is quite a difficult game. Come on, take a chance. Stop making such a damn woman fuss. Stand on the line, please, and throw just as soon as you're ready. <clears throat> Last time I played it, I can't remember using the knife throwing thing. Like on when you actually get into the game. No, I, I didn't use it much either because, like the gun, it's a way of killing them. And to be honest with you, you have to you have to retrieve the knife every time you throw it. Otherwise, you can't use it again. Uh, the so far the most I've done is knock them out. I mean, I've had to shoot a couple of guys because... So partners of the game, you just won't get past it without doing it that, that way. Because I'm, I'm convinced that some of the puzzles are set up that way. But... Well, it's still better yeah, what you just collected from the prize, what we just won there, is a musical watch, and that comes in handy. Especially if you do want to do um, sneaking. If you want to do sneaking, Pete, you can use the watch to distract them. It makes a tinkling music -y sound, and for some reason, instead of just thinking, oh, well, it must be somebody's watch, they think, what the heck is that, and go over to investigate. That which means you can sneak around the back of them and knock them out. Uh-huh. Though, as you saw there as well, this guy wasn't too honest, the guy you were, who was traded you. No, he just knocked you out and stole these stuff. saw it all. He robbed you, John. You want to string that no good pull cat up. Hurry Don't up. tempt me, lady. You just catch him. He left well, down heading out. You say, your lady, so use the term lightly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, let's go and get this guy. Not forgetting to pick up our watch, of course, because the thief yeah. ran away so fast he dropped it. So this is training you how to use the watch. In this bit in a minute, though, when we actually get him, I don't use the watch for it. You can uh, you see there as well. You can set a timer for how long you want it to go off for. So wait to go. Which off. comes in handy later because like you don't want to be around when they when they so you, hear it. You, you, you say you think yourself how long you're going to need to get away from the watch. Not to mention how long before they're going to be back in range because sometimes if they're just out of range, it's a good idea to put the watch down then and maybe put it on 20, 30 seconds because you can get up to 30 seconds on it. And if you think, well, they're going to be here in 30 seconds, then put the watch for 30 seconds. They get there just in time as the watch is going off. You see there, that green thing going backwards and forwards, this is, this is uh, where he can see. So what I'm trying to do here is stay in the blank spots where he's not going to see me. In his blind spot, because being at a, apparently being at the cliff means there's a blind spot. Which makes sense. Might want to get out of the range quickly. So if I want to get put myself back down. And now, I'm not going to use the watch at this point, but you can do if you want to. I'm just going to knock him out. And now I'll get my stuff back. Well, I guess you won't mind if I borrow your horse and don't hurry to bring it back. He's stealing that horse. <laughs> And John also can pick up guys straight away, which is great, but he can't tie them up. You have to get another character for that. So Yeah, you won't just use this character. You, in this sort of game, you will get other characters. You see the photo down here? There'll be another photo of the characters down there. I think you can get up... There's four, eventually, you end up with at least four. Um, John, Cooper, Sam, uh, McCoy, and Kate, I think he, it is. <coughs> Yeah, you've got your duration how long the, uh, the uh, mission took you up there. So you Nine minutes. Not too bad. So that was the first mission. Now, uh, we don't think that we're going to show you any more today. 
so I've been Ratchet this has been Sly if you wish to leave a comment leave a comment if you wish to like us then like us and if you wish to subscribe subscribe but um, you if enjoyed. you do leave comments please we ask, as we ask every time don't swear but we did, do hope you enjoyed the video this has been the basic gameplay